have an auditor like this. His election, his re-election, he hasn't announced it formally, but he's running in 2014. We have to make sure he wins, and we stomp on whoever tries to beat Tom Schweig. Our auditor, Tom Schweig. Tom cities in the past six weeks and there is a tremendous amount of enthusiasm for the Republican Party, Republican ideals, and we are going to have a great future. Now my job as auditor is a very simple one. I audit only government. I don't audit private citizens. I don't audit private companies. My job is to make sure that I find fraud, waste, abuse, and corruption in state government. I audit every state agency, board, commission, school district, county, city, Anybody takes your taxpayer dollars, I go in and try to make sure it's being spent correctly. Now, when I got there, think about this. When I got there, there had been eight years of Claire McCaskill and four years of Susan Monte, and the office was in shambles, and it was time to fix it up. I was over in the Truman Building with the staff more in the first two months than the previous people have been for years. I started paying attention to people. I asked the staff, what do we need to do to make sure we are a tougher, more aggressive advocate for the taxpayer? First thing we did, we hired really good staff, good, solid, conservative people who value your fiscal dollars. Then we went on and put some changes in place. We put in a grading system. Everybody gets audited. Either gets an excellent, a good, a fair, or a poor. And you don't get an excellent unless you cooperate with the auditors, give us everything we want. Boy, people have changed their attitude toward our office. put in a rapid response team. My career people told me sometimes by the time we get there, the crooks have already destroyed all the evidence. So now if we have credible evidence that people are wasting your taxpayer dollars and covering their tracks, we have a subpoena, we have a former prosecutor who leads a team, we secure the area, and we catch these people. We've done it twice now. Once in the St. Louis City Schools, there was a principal who had been bragging about improving attendance of inner city school children, getting all kinds of awards, being given all these accolades, and a teacher called our hotline and said, you know what, we fill out the manual forms, and then, we, and then she enters into the computer and says all the absent students are present. So, and by the way, she asked for all the manual slips, and she's destroying them. So we secured the area, and we found a massive attendance fraud in St. Louis City Schools, which not only was unfortunate for somebody advocating for something or acting like they're better than they are, but then you get more tax dollars too if you have more students. It was a financial fraud and that person is out. Out for good. A judge called me and said, I think a clerk in my court is stealing money that you all pay for like court fees and traffic tickets and the like, and she's destroying all the evidence. So I secretly went in there with the team, we secured the area, she just got indicted for stealing $20,000. Now, the other thing we did is we put up a follow-up team. What I found from a lot of the people is, if we go in there and we find all these problems, we leave, 10 years later we come back, it's all the same problems. So now if you get a low grade on my grading system, a fair or a poor, we come back 90 days later and we do another audit, we make sure you've implemented all the cost savings recommendations we have made. We got a 90% effective rate on that. So we're just turning the screws on everybody. Now you all know me. Some of our auditors have had an accounting background, some have had a law enforcement background. I bring a law enforcement background to it. I've been a federal prosecutor, international law enforcement official. I was John Bolton's chief of staff at the UN, rooting out corruption and fraud there. He was in town for me this week doing some campaign events. So I wanted to make sure the first thing that we rooted out when I was our was embezzlers. People actually stealing your money. That's the law enforcement approach. We put in an anti-embezzlement program and we have now found over 20 officials stealing your money and they are all going to jail if they're not already there. <laughs> we have training on this. For example, we have an anti-embezzlement program. So the first thing we look for when we go in a place is we look to see is there segregation of duties. If the same person is bringing in the money, depositing the money, looking at the bank account, reconciling it, filling out the delinquencies, for example, in taxes. Something's wrong with that. One person shouldn't be doing that. Second thing we look for, do they take a vacation? Embezzlers never take a vacation because they don't want anybody else to look at the records. So if we look at number one, no segregation of duties. Number two, they don't take a vacation. Third thing we do is we kind of ask around the office, how is this person doing? You enjoy working with them? We look for certain financial signs. Like, for example, this was a, one kind of hit us over the head. Well, actually, she was accused of stealing the Girl Scout money. That was kind of a bad indicator right there. Uh, and that person ended up just being charged.
charged with stealing twenty thousand dollars of taxpayer money, and she's going to jail. So that's the way we look at things. We go down. Embezzlers also give gifts. We ask, are you giving like iPods? And people get expensive gifts at work. That's another one. I'm not going to tell you all the indicators, or you'll be able to give give the Ford away for me. But the bottom line is, if you get down to number six or seven or eight, we have an embezzler. We now have a very strong anti-embezzlement program. I'm convinced that anybody stealing your money is going to go to jail. And we put that in place in the last two years. Now, When I asked one state agency, what did you do with the $135 million of Obama stimulus money you got? And they said, oh, we were supposed to track that? <laughs> they couldn't even tell us what they had done with $135 million worth of your money. So we're exposing waste at every turn. I have an audit coming out next week, I've already said this publicly, of the governor's airplane. I'm not going to tell you what's in it because I don't reveal the contents of audits before they come out, but I want you to look at the news. I look for waste at all levels, governor, state, local, county. If I find it, it'll be gone. I promise you that. For whatever reason, my predecessors didn't really look at school districts. Don't you think we want to audit school districts the most with our kids to make sure that money's not wasted? I have now audited the four largest school districts in the state in Kansas City that couldn't find out what happened with four million dollars worth of inventory. Inventory is like iPods and things like that, important things, and now they have a program where they put chips in place so it can be tracked. We found land deals gone bad in Springfield in the Rockwood School District, the third largest. They have the same contractor doing hundreds of millions of dollars worth of work, never bid out the contracts, and one of the members of the contractor's staff was on the board of the school. And we figured there had been millions of dollars wasted, so we exposed those conflicts of interest in the school district. We are going to audit all the school districts that need to be audited, and we're going to improve the quality of education to your children. Now, Last fall, we lost five out of six statewide races. We are a conservative state. We are a God-fearing state. We are a Republican state. We have to do better. We have to start winning statewide races. The legislature did a great job. Tim Jones, you're over there. You did a fantastic job. But we did not do it with statewide office. Now, I'm the first test in 2014. I'll be the only statewide office up. It's the first time since 1990 that the state auditor is the only race up. And what I'm asking you to do is, remember, some of you are libertarians, and some are traditional Republicans, and some are good Christian conservatives that Abraham Lincoln used to always talk about. Well, the fact of the matter is, all of us, every person in this room, is better for America than Barack Obama. Everybody. Every person in this room is better for Missouri than Jay Nixon and Chris Benedict Arnold Turncoat Costa. Win in 2014, set some momentum, and we'll win all the statewide races in 2016. It's an honor to serve you. Have a great day.